In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a PlayStation 4 console exclusive that's about to be released and reviews are coming in and they're looking very positive. God of War is getting a lot of new gameplay and that game looks awesome, so we'll talk a little bit about that. And there's a couple of good PlayStation 4 game deals that I want to point your guys' attention to. We'll talk about that at the end of this video. First, let's talk about the upcoming Ni no Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom, possibly the most anticipated JRPG of this year. I know Kingdom Hearts 3 probably has it beaten out, but for those of you that played the first Ni no Kuni title, Goes without saying that you're probably very excited for Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. The official release is coming on March 23rd, this Friday, but the reviews are coming out and they are looking very positive. Currently, the game has an 89 on Open Critic and an 86 on Metacritic. Guardian gave it a perfect score, saying its gorgeously lush visuals are quite simply among the best ever seen in a game, offering an object lesson in how stylization has the power to trump photorealism even in the 4K age. Easy Allies gave the title a 95, EGM gave the title in 85. The lowest score came from App Trigger, who did score the game a 60, saying the potential was there for Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom to be a big improvement over its already solid predecessor, but instead of focusing on one new thing and doing that well, it doesn't keep anything that worked and gives us several modes that could have been great, but all have major issues. IGN, on the other hand, gave the title a 7.8, while Game Informer gave the title an 8, so mostly positive reviews. It doesn't look like the title is as well received as the first Nino Kuni game, but still an 86 on Metacritic and an 89 on Open Critic is very impressive, and this is going to be another great console exclusive for the PlayStation 4. Now, I do say console exclusive. Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom will be seeing a PC release, so if you're more of a PC gamer, you can check the title on that platform as well. Moving on from that, God of War has had a lot of information released. There is a 15-minute gameplay demo over on PlayStation's website. We'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. Shows off a lot of great gameplay, and it's done by the guys over at PlayStation Underground. This is shaping up to be one of the best PS4 exclusives thus far, one of the best games of this generation, and it is looking incredible. From a visual standpoint, it looks outstanding, and by the way, Digital Foundry also got their hands on the game, giving a more in-depth look on the visuals of the game, but in terms of stylization, presentation, and combat, it looks very good. And the official PlayStation channel also uploaded a video going over God of War's new combat system. It is very different than past God of War games, where those were very action-oriented. This a little bit more slower-paced, a little more methodical but looks great nonetheless. God of War is scheduled to be released on April 20th. If you guys don't know, there are a couple of special editions to check out, and for those of you that are looking to pick up a PlayStation 4 Pro, you can check out the God of War console, which looks awesome. It's $400. You get the game, you get the console, and that is a great way to pick up a PS4 Pro. The console itself is also obviously customized, looks great, and yeah, kind of a kicker to those of us that already bought a PS4 Pro, but for those of you looking to just check out the console for the first time, that is a great option as well. Make sure you check out all of the gameplay, all of the footage that's been released because this game is shaping up very nicely. Finally, I do want to quickly go over a couple of great PlayStation 4 game deals available right now. Pillars of Eternity Complete Edition over at GameStop is down to just $15. That is a fantastic price for a great RPG. Now, I do have to mention that this is a different RPG than most console RPGs. It was originally released on PC and then later ported over to the PlayStation 4, and you can tell that this is a PC-oriented RPG. However, it makes a solid transition using the DualShock 4 controls. Now, it is a great game with a lot of content. Now, it is a lot of reading, but that story there is great, and it'll keep you invested for a very long time. And for $15, you get the complete edition that includes the base Pillars of Eternity game, as well as the White March Part 1 and Part 2 expansions. And if you guys don't know, Pillars of Eternity 2 is on the way, so now wouldn't be a bad time to check out Pillars of Eternity Complete Edition. And again, this price is just absolutely ridiculous. This is a game you can invest so much time into, so definitely definitely give it a look. If you would alternatively like to pick up a used copy, it is available for $14. But come on, that new copy for $15 is such a great deal. Also, Walmart has got a fantastic deal on South Park The Fractured, but hold, that game is down to 20 bucks. That is a ridiculous deal considering that game is still a very recent release. It released back in October and it was a game that was received very well. I don't know if it kind of fumbled a little bit from a commercial standpoint, but personally, playing the game and being a fan of South Park The Stick of Truth The Fractured, but hold, was a fantastic fantastic follow-up to that. It was once again a very charming game, really lives true to South Park as an IP, so give that game a look as well at your local Walmart, or you can pick it up online for just 20 bucks. That is a fantastic deal. So that is going to conclude this video. Let us know your thoughts. What do you think about Nino Kuni 2 being received very well from a critical standpoint? What do you think about the new God of War footage and the game itself? Are you picking it up on April 20th? And again, those deals that I mentioned, Pillars of Eternity, Complete Edition, $15 at GameStop, and South Park, the Fractured 
Green Butthole is $20 at Walmart. Check those out. We'll leave links down below in the description box. Sound off with your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.